We are out at Pullen Park today with Courtney Bowman. She's the owner of Raleigh Cheesy. Thank you so much for being out here with us today. You're so welcome. We are so excited about this because you are going to show us how to make a cheese board. And yes. we are so excited about this. So tell me, how did you fall in love with cheese <laughs> boards? Yeah, so I just started making them last summer. I oh, made wow. my first one ever for my daughter's second birthday and just completely fell in love with the entire process. I love how it combines really delicious food with art as well. Um, so yeah, it, I just started making them for friends and family and um, it, the interest was peaked and started the Instagram on October 1st of last year. So we're right at our one year anniversary and it, it just took off ever since. Incredible. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. This looks amazing. So is this like a typical board that somebody can purchase from you? Yeah, about the same size. We would call this a small board oh, if you look on wow. the website. Um, so we make them anywhere from about this, I would say this is about a 15 inch, maybe a little bit less. Uh, board to, all the way to large grazing tables. So exciting. And you normally have classes that you can show people to arrange their own cheese board. Yes, I do. So I partner with a bunch of different people, but also offer private in-home classes for people who don't necessarily feel safe um, gathering in smaller groups. If they are just wanting an intimate party of five of their friends, I do that as well. Um, but you can see all information on my website. It's just raleighcheesy.com and you click on the upcoming classes and got a lot of really fun fall classes coming up for October and then we'll be posting the November one soon as well but everybody will come away with like their own personal cheese board and it's really fun this is yes. so exciting and you're gonna show us how to make our very own sort of fall inspired cheese board today with some pumpkins and pears so what else are we gonna include yes we're gonna include some maple almonds we've got these great um, fall cookies which are a really fun accent these are from Trader Joe's um, we've also got some pumpkin spice pumpkin seeds, oh, wow. a little double whammy. Um, we're gonna use some local crackers. This is a great local baker. You can find them at Whole Foods. Uh, these crackers are made in Hillsboro, North Carolina. We've got figs, grapes, lots of cheeses, yes. great cheese options. And then I'm gonna teach you how to fold salami. We're gonna learn how to fold salami, guys. Yeah. So step number one is always to place any like focus feature fruits that you okay. have, right? And I'm gonna slice them. It gives this illusion that the pear is still together when it's really not. Then we always go to the cheese next. This is called St. Andre cheese. Now you're gonna take our manchego and you are just gonna kind of fan it out along the edge. All right, this other one is a cinnamon Toscano. It's got a nice cinnamon Ooh, rind to it. Adriana. Next is crackers. Yeah, so grab a little handful. You are going to style it kind of around. You've got a nice little pie right there. Why don't you go right there with it? So let's do a salami river. So take one slice, fold it in half, fold it in half again. Now you've got a little. That's simple. Yep, now take a second piece. Do the same thing. Fold it once, fold it twice. Oh, how fun. And you're gonna make a little line of it. We can start filling in with the berries. Okay, so now I'm gonna add little cookie accents. Any Decorative little gaps touches, right? you have, you're gonna fill in with these maple almonds. And there you have it. Oh my goodness. Look what you did. Oh, we did, we did it. none of this. <laughs> Thank you again so much for this. I love it. It's gorgeous and I can't wait to dig in. Let's eat, guys. Yes. Let's eat. Woo! Let's eat.